Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the Enchanted Planner and my name is Rini. Today we are starting the D stash series. I have too much stuff, honestly. And we're going to start with a basket in a pile that has been sitting off the side and get some stuff moving here so I can get it to better homes. Um, the first thing I have is some expired planner pages. Now I do generally put these up in the um, Facebook groups because if people want them for redating them, um, so long as they pay for the shipping, I'm good, right? And I've gotten rid of a few expired planner pages, like some a lot, quite a big bundle actually recently. So there's that. So those are going. Those are on the way out of my house so I can revive my zen. Uh, what else have we got in here? The next thing up for... Uh, this was from the Teresa Collins Be Happy box. And it's a guided journal. Now, as much as I love the colors in this... Um, I've had this for like over a year and I've never touched it. And I'm not really much of a guided journal type of person. So I may sell that. So that's on its way out. Okay. What's next? Oh, another one. I had this grandiose plan that I was going to try and use this for goal planning. Oh, there's a dashboard in here that I've got to pull out. I'm going to make a bit of noise. Hopefully not too much. I'm going to rip this out real fast. Ready? One, two, three. Like a band-aid. Okay, so we're going to put that off to the side. Slip this back in the front. Oh, come on. That's why I hate plastic discs. Nothing wants to move smoothly. But, yeah, I mean... It's a great planner, but I bought it and I never used it. Oh, see? I had made myself some notes. Oop, I have another sticky note in here. This is what happens when you don't look at stuff for a while. Is that it? That is it. Okay, so that is on its way out. I will sell that in one of the Facebook groups. And Oh, what's up next? Oh, an expired planner. I think I bought this with the intention of using it for a journaling planner, but I'm just, I'm just not a, like, rainbow once in a while, all right, fine, rainbow everything, yeah, not really my vibe, I gotta say, not my vibe at all, so I will see if somebody wants to pay for the shipping on that, and that can go to a better home, because oftentimes I've found that Planners that are new um, and on very limited budgets, they don't mind picking up the expired planners. They'll just redate them, but it saves them a lot of expense. And then, you know, they just buy from sales and what have you, right? Uh, the next thing up is, um, I think this was the Planner Babe block pad. I think I used it. Oh my God dust coming out on my board here. I think I used it once. I think I used maybe one or two pages. I'll have to count them to make sure how many is left in here, but yeah, that's another thing that can get sold. What else have we got? Oh, I bought these. These are the original snap-in covers. You can't see them really well on the black. I hate them. They are a pain in the arse to get onto the discs and then they do not want to move all that well like it was struggle 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 trying to open my planner so those are going for sale oh we have some more expired planner pages oh no we don't they're not fully expired yet they don't end until the end of this year this was the homebody seasons planner and I bought it with the intention of using it for social media. And I made it, I don't even, I made it through the month of January before I flipped. Because it's fairly neutral, but having to deal with the decor every week, yeah, just no. 
right, so that was a lesson learned. I probably should have sold this ages ago because, you know, somebody could have probably gotten you some use out of it. Now I'll just see if somebody wants to pay for shipping and they can find a new home. What is next? Oh, the budget planner. Bought this with great intentions too. And I think I've had it in and out of this package a couple of times. I've put a label on it even. And I never use it. I don't like the fact that some of the fields are already filled in. And I also don't like the fact that it's pretty much rainbow. It's rainbow. Everything's rainbow. Which is fine once in a while. But rainbow all the time? Whew. So that will find a new home. I will list that for sale as well. Oh, we have a couple of teacher accessory packs. What's left of this one. This is, I think, just a folder and some of the pages. I bought these um, secondhand off Facebook Marketplace myself with the intention because originally I was going to do all my social media in a teacher layout, but um, this, that didn't work. It does not have anywhere near the amount of room that I need to work in for a social media and business planner. So works great for health and fitness but not so much for social media. So those I will see if somebody wants to pick up. I don't, do I know any teachers? I know several teachers. Are they happy planners is the question. I will have to find out. What's up next? Oh, another set of hardcovers. Nope, oh, come on out of the box. Um, these are hardcovers for the mini. And once again, there are a pain in the butt to get on and off of the discs. I actually didn't even try with these ones because I had had so much issue with the classic size, I didn't even bother. Next up, we have the mini undated budget planner. I think I tried for one month in here. That's about it. Yeah, again, rainbow. So I will see if somebody wants to pick that up secondhand. What else have we got? Oh, I have a mini planner accessory pack. We have the mini, uh, these are planner babe plastic envelopes. Those can both go. I think mostly in this box, it's going to be stuff to go. I think I'd already started this de-stash process. I picked these up secondhand as part of a bundle I bought and um, I haven't used them. I have quite a few pens. I really don't need any more. So I'll see if somebody wants those secondhand. What else have we got in this box? Oh, more undate or more expired planners. What have we got here? We have. I just actually literally just had somebody pick up a bunch of my expired planners, and had I known these existed, I probably would have put them in the box for her as well. But um, it was pretty full. Now this finishes i think at the end of this oh no it finished in august that's right this was a an 18 month planner that was for not this part here this is from a monthly this was from the dream seeker monthly planner I picked up secondhand at michael's so it was you know no loss that i didn't really use that much of it i used the dashboards really all out of it um the dividers in this are quite pretty but if I kept every divider, I wouldn't have any room in my office, to be honest with you. Okay, next up we have, what else is in here? We got another expired planner. This, I believe, is from the, oh, this was the Year to Shine planner. And I picked this up at Michael's because it was right near the end of the year. And I really wanted the covers. That's all I was after. I wanted the, I wanted the cover. So, you know, I paid $3 or something for it. I wasn't going to complain. I paid $3 for covers, but what is this one? Oh, this was the health and wellness. This was the first health and wellness planner I used. And I used it for, I think, half a year before, again, matching up the tones and colors drove me insane. What else we got in here? Oh, I've got the envelope for it. Oh, I got my hair in here, too the envelope for the Teresa Collins box. Oh, I have some Mickey and Minnie pen loops. 
Next up, we've got some Skinny Mini Classic Planners. Again, they're now expired. I think this one goes to the end of this year. December. Um, how do I tell? This is coming out of nowhere. Yeah, 2021. Bought this because I was planning on using it in my purse. But working with the Skinny Mini is an adventure if you're not really used to it. Okay, next up I have a deluxe planner cover. I don't know about this. I bought this again, I bought it secondhand. Or no, I bought it on sale at Michael's, that's right. So it didn't cost me very much at all. And I was using it to cover my social media planner for quite a while but it's just bulky but if I'm taking my planner out of my house I gotta say I do like this this might go in the maybe pile because it's the only one I have if I could find a black and white one I'd be much happier but the rose gold looked really nice with the cover I had on my planner at the time and nice rose gold discs. Like everything was just rose gold and I love rose gold. So, you know, it was a win-win. But, I don't know, I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. So we're going to stick that off to the side and then we're going to move on to the next pile of stuff. Which is here. Now this is a variety of different things. This dashboard actually belongs in, nope, that's planner covers, here. That dashboard, this is another one I've got to go through, is all of these, because I have ugh, copious amounts of dashboards and bookmarks. And I just keep them all on a planner discs. Thought it was the easiest solution for quick reference, right? What else have I got in here? Oh, looks like I've got more planner. Oh, these are all the dividers. That's right. Which I have to go through all of this as well. But I don't think I'll do that today in this video. I'll do that in a second video because it's going to probably take me four or five videos to get through all of this stuff and make them fairly uh, short. <laughs> All right, we have a planner folder. This was from the fitness uh, box kit. That can find a new home. We have an unopened, oh, we have two unopened um, dashboard sets from Wrong Wrong, which if you saw the book I had, I don't really need any more um, <laughs> dashboards. Um, oh, I loved this. I'm, I'm done adulting, let's be mermaids. I love the cover and I what got me was the colors. And I use a lot of filler paper. So I think I'll keep this one. The next one is another one. Again, I pick up most of this stuff when it's on clearance. Oh, dot grid. And I love this color dot grid. You can actually see it. I find with some of the black ones, you can't really see the dot grid all that well, at least for my age and my eyes. Even with my glasses on, I'm like, where's the dots? So that I think is gonna go, it's gonna find a new home. This one, what is this? Oh, this is one of those notebook kits. So it comes with a little folder and it comes with a dashboard and it comes with a little set of stickers. Oh, two pages of stickers. These, this is cute. I think I will put the, oh, look at these, right? So cute. I'm gonna put that in the to-go pile. Um, these, no, no, we will be keeping these because I have plans for them. Um, next up are my Mambi sticks. Now I use these, so these will not be going anywhere. Oops, I love all of those. I'm running out of room on my desk here. This, I have another pack of these. Where are you? Hang on, let me flip through this pile because I'd like to keep them together. Did I already pull the other one out? 
it is looking like I did. So I'll have to find out where I put it. I have two packages of these and I certainly don't need two. I don't know how I ended up with two. I think I ordered one from Happy Planner, but I'd already bought one from Michael's. I think that's how that happened. I have an unopened um, fitness extension kit. I don't use this layout anymore, so that can go off to the side. Um, I have last year's Christmas extension pack. And then I have the original Christmas extension pack. So I'm going to keep the newest one and, and give the other one a new home, which means I better get that listed pretty quick. All right. Planner. Oh, I like this. I can't remember why I bought this. I got it secondhand, mind you. Not secondhand. Um, on sale from the Happy Planner site. Because, of course, most of this really cool stuff never comes to Canada which is beyond annoying, but I will keep that because I have plans for that this year. I bought it last year, I think in the Black Friday sale. No, it must have been after Christmas because I didn't use it last year. Must have been when they had their sale in the New Year somewhere. Ooh, my big planner. These are the only planner page inserts I have for my, my big, and I have one big planner that I use for um, a variety of different things. I don't generally decorate it, which is why you haven't seen it, but I'm contemplating doing a plan with me. It's a dashboard layout currently because I'm just using printables, doing um, a spread in it where I decorate it just to see how it looks. I haven't decorated a big before, but then I'm also looking at it I'm like, oh, I could do a big vertical. Hmm? I don't know, but these I will keep. I really just got these and I absolutely love them because they are black and white. There's nothing, which is why I want to get rid of these because that has color, even though it's fairly neutral, but this is black and white, <laughs> nothing. There's nothing on here. So these are amazing. Next up is a planner accessories pack. Um, these are cute. I don't know how I ended up with two of them. I think I ordered them from Zulily and they accidentally shipped me two. So I've used, I've been into this one because I grabbed the little paper clip thing. I don't use them, but I thought they were cute. But they don't really stay on all that well, so they annoy me. That's got to go, right? But yeah, so I'm going to get rid of one. And then what's next? I've got Teacher's Gonna Teach. This, I think, goes in one of the uh, teacher extension packs that I've got off the side. So I'll put that with that. And then last up is the Daily Agenda Planner Accessory Pack from the Disney line. This I will keep, again, because it's black and white and it's just bloody adorable. I don't really do a lot of Disney, but there are some things that I just can't resist. They're so cute. Wow. Okay, see, doing a video makes it much easier for me to like make that decision because I'm being accountable to y'all. You do not want to sit here and watch a 45 or a 50 minute video of me trying to go, hmm, am I going to keep this? I don't know. So thank you so much for being my motivation. This is not my idea. Desiree started this whole thing. And then Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble jumped on it. And now I'm on it. So it's a, I think it's a good thing that Desiree sort of started that ripple effect within the planner community, because I think I was literally just having this conversation with my husband. It's a little bit sidetracked. Like we have a consumption problem in society everywhere in the Western world. We buy far too much stuff that we do not need. I am also one of those people who has fallen victim to buying too much stuff I don't need. And that includes my obsession with Happy Planner. So I'm going to make sure that I get through my stash, keep what I will really use and either do giveaways with some of it, sell some of it on the Facebook um, Facebook groups that I'm in, or just give it away to people that in need. Kind of that pay it forward thing, right? Because I'm in a more fortunate place where I have a bit, of, a bit more disposable, expendable income, if you will. Not that I should be spending it. That's the caveat to that. But there are planners that are just trying to get their life together and they are young moms and they've only got one income and 
they really want to do this planning, this decorative planning, but they can't really afford it. And I've been there. I have been that person. I've been that young mom where we had, you know, we were struggling, man. We had two small kids and we were a young couple. I've been with my husband for over 30 years. My kids are grown, but I do remember what it is like to be in those places. So I always like to try and do my part to pay it forward because, you know, I was fortunate enough to get help from certain people along the way too. And I think it's important that we keep that in mind and we pay it forward to people, to, to those in need. Sorry, I went off on a bit of a tangent there, but it's just my thoughts. Just my thoughts on a Thursday morning. <laughs> oh, you guys, thank you very much for holding me accountable. Thank you. Without even meaning to, like y'all are like, we had no idea we're holding you accountable, but you are. So thank you. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe. There's some goals I'm trying to reach. I did reach the 100 mark. So thank you. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. It still amazes me that there's like a hundred people that actually want to watch my planning, which is just mind blowing. But I love y'all. And thank you so much. Um, but you know, I'm waiting for YouTube to actually give me the thing that I need to create my custom link. And then I've got to set the next goal because I didn't realize the next goal is a thousand subscribers, which is that's going to be a while before I can use the community thread. And I was irritated about that. I thought it was a hundred and then I went and read it again and I'm like, no, I got confused. <laughs> so a thousand subscribers is now my next goal. It's probably going to take me a while to get there, but if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm kind of fun. I got some wicked, you know, wicked humor going on a lot of the times. And um, yeah, I'm just, we'll, we'll have a ton of fun. Don't you worry. We'll see y'all again very soon. And have a great day, you guys. Ciao.